Hi, Watsina Daphne here. Uh, don't worry about being um, late writing your essays, and I hope you feel better. I'm sorry you don't feel you weren't great to have your uh, letter here now. Um, your first line, I mean, there's a few things here that I I wouldn't do me naturally writing in English. So definitely put Dear Sir, Madam. I, a dear shopkeeper is a bit strange. Dear Sir, Madam. I know it seems formal, but this is a formal letter. Um, I'd like to draw your attention. You'd have to say, if you're going to use that, to the fact that, it's a long phrase, this, to the fact that I have been sent a wrong edition. Okay, yeah. Um, so, I've been sent a wrong edition of the book by your online web store for my order placed through your company. I mean, this is a little bit round in a circle. So, I would more naturally write, um, I recently ordered, book and you might say what it is I'm not going to say it in a minute but I might say what it was through your online store and having received my parcel I see that it is not the correct version so as an English speaker and writer that is the way I would do it okay that is much more uh, natural Okay, so, and it's also a little bit more polite. I'd like to draw your attention to the fact it's quite a little bit aggressive almost. So I recently ordered a book, you could say what it is, through your online store. Having received my parcel, I see it's not the correct version. You've also got a lot of lovely language in there. So, past simple, having received, past participle, and then I see that it's not the correct version. Okay, then you could go into this, which is great. I have placed an order for the new edition of Brr. Okay, and then, then you could put this bit on the 14th of January. However, in lieu of that, I received. Now, here, I wouldn't use the present perfect here. I would just go past simple. You received it. It's finished. Okay, I received an old edition of the book. I'm pursuing, we would say, an MA um, in critical writing and have to submit a review on the Shiva trilogy you would put here, which is a series of three books written by Amish. Um, okay, I mean, I think I would argue that that is probably too much information. Um, in your word count, you don't have much word, many words, and I think this is superfluous. Too much detail. Um, so you could, you, but you could put an adjective in here. Three fascinating books. I mean, you know, you're, you're a language student, so it's okay. Fascinating books. Or fascinating yet challenging. But you know, here you're getting some lovely adjectives in there, which, and then you're using yet. So if you think of scoring points, which is what you're trying to do, that's quite a nice way of doing it rather than putting in this, which won't get you extra points. Um, the review should contain complete information along with prologue and final conclusion from all three. That, and then you might say original versions. versions um, in order for me to get credit. Okay, so rather than repeating books, if you use the um, this original versions, more language, and it kind of relates back to the fact that you didn't get the one you want in order for me to get credit or in order for full credits to be awarded. So that would get you more points because it's passive. So in order for is fine, and full credits to be awarded, you've got a passive infinitive. So that would be more skilled instead of this. Okay, and it's slightly more formal as well. The old edition of the book lacks a lot of information, which has been printed in the new one. Okay, lovely. Hence, I really need to get the current one replaced. Okay, instead of that, I would say. Uh, therefore, you could say, um, you could say, I hope you understand if you want to use more words that I really need or that, okay, um, I need to, that I need to get the current one replaced or slightly more formal. So that's one option. That's 
one option that would be possible there. Or you could put, um, I would be extremely grateful. You could send me a replacement da -da 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 -da, uh, urgently so I can or whatever you want to say, you know, that's fine. But here I am looking out for this kind of formal formal expression. Yeah, I'd be very grateful if. So I really need to get the current one replaced. It's absolutely fine, but I feel almost you're switching between over formal to a little bit informal. This for me is a better balance. So write down some of these expressions for letters. You probably know them, but just remind yourself, write them down. So either I hope you understand that I need a replacement, or for me this is better. I'd be extremely grateful if you could send me a replacement urgently so I can complete this important project or something like that. Okay. Um, so I wouldn't have that because, as you see, I've already included that above here. Um, so how many words have you on? I mean, you're over the word count anyway. I definitely wouldn't go over the word count. I mean, they're quite specific on this. 150, 200. I know I've added in stuff, but don't go over the word count. Um, and then, yes, regards is fine. But I mean, you need to put your surname in there because otherwise they don't know who you are. Yeah. Um, so look out for those little things. With dear sir, madam, technically, with dear shopkeeper, you're okay put with that. Dear sir, madam, you should have yours faithfully. So this is the, I mean, you know this, this is the correct greeting. So make sure you get these absolutely right, because it's silly to lose money on that one. Uh, lose money, sorry. <laughs> Thinking about your book. Uh, lose points on this when it's uh, such an important exam. Okay. Uh, you could put reference number in here if you wanted to, uh, of the order number. Okay, I hope that's helpful. There seem to be quite a lot of little things in there, but have a look at that carefully and look forward to getting your next one, number six. Okay, well done.